Jay Yurick, a quarterback at the University of South Carolina, and two of his friends made signs for protests last week to honor George Floyd. Little did they know, one of the signs would go viral. It was um, very surprising because I didn't think I didn't think anything of it. I mean, we were just going to create a sign, and and from there. You know, it was sort of, it just blew up. On his Instagram page alone, Yurik's picture of the sign got over 20,000 likes. But he said it's not about the picture. Yurik is glad so many people saw it, but it's more about the message the sign was saying. To really show that matter is the minimum. It's the floor of what, um, of, of who they are. And um, we just want to spread that message, spread that love. Um, so that everybody could be encouraged. And Yurik wasn't the only South Carolina football player to participate in the protest. Chad Terrell, a wide receiver for the Gamecocks, said it was an emotional day for him as a black man, but the support of his teammate meant the world. The fact that he was willing to do so much for something that doesn't even affect him is just really powerful. And this Saturday, Yurik and Terrell's football rivals at Clemson will be doing the same thing. Clemson football players have organized a protest on campus, but both agreed that this is bigger than football, bigger than a rivalry. And their message to Clemson players was this. I would say it's really important to kind of, like, not just be there, but actually be there and kind of, like, soak in everything and try to, like, like make sure you're an important part of the protest and be heard. Focus and just, you know, soak it all in and just do what you've been doing you know, the past couple of weeks, and um, it's going to make a, make a huge difference with their platform. And the sign that Yurik held is now making its way to Clemson, as running back for the Tigers, Darian Rencher, will hold it on Saturday. In Spartanburg, Sophia Redabaugh, 7 News. The protest in Clemson will take place again tomorrow on Saturday, starting at 6 in the evening on Bowman Field. People planning to attend are encouraged to wear black and to bring a face mask as well. Well, Greenville's mayor and city council are working to react to concerns over police and their use of force policy. Mayor Knox White is saying.